Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Keep in mind, this is a general weekend love reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. Take what fits, leave the rest. This is a channel for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. Personal reading links are also below in the description box. All right, Virgos. So first thing I want to get into before we start this reading is... Don't get scared. Get prepared. There is a predicted major earthquake around the Ring of Fire over this weekend, beginning June 2nd, around June 2nd through the 4th, maybe a little after that, or that week following, okay? Um, so I just wanted to put that out there, okay? If anything shows up about that, I will definitely point it out once again, but let's get into your love reading and see what messages are coming up here for you. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the weekend of June 2nd through the 4th. Okay, let your friends help you starting the reading. You've got Honeymoon. And one more please. Okay, give a relationship a chance. Okay, so looks like you'll be calling on some friends to help you, possibly starting on Friday. Gosh, I hope that this is bright enough. Okay, I'll brighten it up. Um, starting on Friday, seeking support and asking for help from some friends over this weekend. Okay, so maybe you're moving asking help to move or um, relying on other people to help you with the situation. Okay, let me see what else is going on here. And if you have friends that are showing up over this weekend, offering help, um, maybe you're advised to accept that help. Okay. All right, there we go. So you've got the Ace of Pentacles. You've got the moon. Okay, and you have the Hierophant. So, I feel like you're going to be getting some kind of an offer, monetary offer of some sort or a gift. Okay, some new income. Um, trying to decide or trying to, I feel like somebody might offer you a job <clears throat> on Friday. Um, and, but as far as romance goes, I do feel like um, there's a new opportunity here. You receive some kind of gift. I will tell you that. You do receive a gift beginning on Friday. Now, it's starting on Friday. This is for Friday, June 2nd. But this energy can play out anytime over the weekend. And this may have like the offer of a gift of commitment. Um, could be getting some kind of a proposal as well. Um, let me see why is the moon here. Because there's something... That I feel like is kind of coming like unexpectedly. This offer. Show me the moon. I'm going to clarify actually the moon and the Hierophant. Okay. Yeah. I feel like you're going to receive this and yeah, kind of look at it with this moon energy of like, what is this about? I don't understand any more clarity why I'm receiving something from someone or a gift. Um, you might ask for some of your friends to help you kind of like make sense of something, even if it's like a proposal or some kind of offer of some sort. If someone's coming in to make an investment in a relationship or um, ask you to marry him. I don't know, Virgo, it looks like you're kind of sitting there with this. I'm going to need more information on this because I don't know if, I don't know if it, there's a lack of trust. You know, that moon card is definitely some shade. So you might be, um, I see you sitting in this energy on Friday, like someone's trying to pull some shade or this might be a shady deal or something is being offered here. Um, yeah. Okay. Somebody's really stressed out. Um, why? Because mm, they need to make some kind of change and they need to make this offer. They need to take action to make a commitment to you. And I feel like they're going to, 
okay definitely over the weekend if it doesn't happen like exactly on friday definitely over the weekend of some sort um make this investment in this offer and they might even be asking their friends you know um I don't know i don't want to say permission but like kind of checking in with their friends like what do you think if i make this offer to virgo like how should i do it what do you like you know i don't know whoever their friends are um or who uh, seeking support from other people to go ahead and do this because yeah um, some of you are definitely getting <laughs> some kind of um money or, or there's a an offer for a new vehicle as well and you might want to be reading the fine print about this you know even like the interest rate or you know even to more of a mundane level okay um and so i kind of feel like that is like your advice like if you receive some kind of like hey you know we're gonna give you ten thousand you know whatever amount of money to put down on this car or something I, I, or this vehicle i kind of feel like you might be like oh i gotta read this contract before i sign it okay but mostly as far as like love goes you know even if like you're moving signing a new lease or buying a home you know you get some kind of money i see you kind of sifting through the fine print in regards to all that okay but also like you no matter what this offer is it comes in here sifting through the fine print just to make sure it's on the up and up just to make sure it's like the real deal before you take any action to go forward and make this change with someone it might be kind of stressful for you it's supposed to be a like a wonderful thing right um, but I don't know, something here, maybe you have another connection with another earth sign. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, a Taurus. Um, but this offer coming in, yeah, Virgo's going to be like, you know what? Send me over the papers. Um, they're giving you a ring. Let me see the certificate of authenticity. <laughs> Virgo's like really vetting. I see you vetting on Friday, whatever this thing is that comes in and, and good for you. And if, if you're not, um, your advice maybe here is to definitely do that now saturday what is the energy of saturday so you got honeymoon and you have the star and the king of wands okay so uh saturday looks like some hope and renewal with the king of wands okay um let's see spending some time together with an aries leo or a sagittarius for saturday let me see what else okay Eight of, one, or eight of cups and love yeah um there is definitely a fire sign here on saturday who is going to try to renew a relationship with you and take it to another level okay or at least want to go spend some time with you travel and um you know i feel like this king of wands is trying to have like the bliss with you on saturday so you might get some kind of offer of some sort or communication from um a fire sign who is <clears throat> wanting to get together with you um or you know, it just it's like bliss of um you know i know there's no holiday um is there any holiday over this weekend no not that i can tell no there is a full moon on the fourth um so there might be some travel involved as well or making plans for travel um a temporary getaway not having a weekend with someone as well or planning a, a weekend further in advance um this king of wands is in love with you okay so aries leo sagittarius masculine or feminine energy definitely like like crazy about you could for some of you could be an aquarius but there is this like love like completely in love with you so the sun sign that i called out the fire energy doesn't have to be their sun sign it could be anywhere in their chart where they might have heavy fire or um it, it could also be in their venus they might have fire in their venus could be their rising as well okay so i'm sorry if i sound like i'm kind of like i'm, I'm really concerned about this planetary um events happening over this weekend i feel it i'm feeling something so i don't want you guys to um you know at least over the weekend or the week going forward i just want you guys to um <clears throat> maybe look into it or, or just try to prepare yourselves um if you're somewhere in that ring around the pacific ocean okay um hmm. interesting okay so let me take a look at sunday here 
I know it's not going to be for all of you Sunday. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Okay. So let's see. Okay. Six of Wands. Victory. Success. Three of Wands. Looking forward. Being hopeful. Okay, the Magician. Gemini Energy. Somebody wants to give a relationship with you a chance. Someone wants to work on your partnership. Bring some magic back into the relationship. One more, please, for this magician. Could be a Virgo as well. Yeah, there's going to be some communication you're going to get from... Whoa! You're going to get communication from someone. <laughs> Looks like you got three three different lovers going on here. It could, all be, it could be all the one person. But... Um, you're definitely going to get communication from someone who's very smitten with you, okay? That wants to work on your relationship. And they will be reaching out um, to try to have success. This person, um, they're going to work their magic. <laughs> very focused on you and, and what the possibilities, what could be in this connection. This person sees nothing but success. And um, kind of like they're very positive that they know this relationship can work okay and even with that three of wands there they're kind of like you know i know that we can like expand i know we can work together i know we can like make something and you might be at a distance to this person so this could be a long distance relationship where you hear from this person now keep in mind whoever they are you have the right to say no but you also have the right to say yes. I do feel like the overall energy, though, is, you know, there is an offer or some type of proposal of some sort that comes to you over this weekend where you might not even believe it. You might just want to be like, wait, what? Can you just, like I said, I need to fine tooth comb this contract or this, this deal or whatever it is you're offering here. Okay, because this is going to stress me out. I don't know if I can make this change. You know, are you saying you want to commit? You want me to commit to this? Yeah, because um, I do feel like someone's coming in with that, you know, and then wants to spend some time with you, especially over the weekend. You know, maybe there's conversation. Get away. There could be travel involved as well, or it could be a long distance thing. This person really wants to come in and try to bring renewal and hope and promise to a relationship here with the star. And somebody could be in the public eye. Um, the King of Wands could have a little bit of fame somewhere attached to them, um, locally, worldly globally whichever um i just feel like somebody here is like crazy in love with you i really do like not even like i mean they're definitely smitten but i feel like there's there's a soul flame soulmate connection here where i'm just hearing you know something about beach as well um honeymoon spending time together making plans to spend time together and making this relationship work for the long term okay so yeah i mean it, it feels like the weekend is kind of it's bittersweet with the first message i just gave and then this second message here i do feel like you're you know maybe because something happens over the weekend and another person is kind of like oh gosh the world's coming to, go to an end i have to be with you <laughs> i don't feel like the world's coming to an end don't <laughs> let me just be careful what i say there but i i I don't know, Virgo. I just kind of feel like someone gets into like some really strong, like a wake up call. I feel. Let me just, um, I'm going to pull a couple of extra messages because I don't know. I just, it's weird. I'm not usually like this, you guys, but you know, there's talk in the psychic community and I've been feeling the energy as well about this event coming up over this weekend and. Is a planetary en energy is um, 
very strong. There's a lot going on with the solar flares on the sun. There's so much volcanic activity happening around that ring. And I think that, um, yeah, this sounds like a doomsday reading and it, it totally is, is not. And if you want to click off because you're like, no, I don't want to hear any more about that. That's fine. You certainly can, you know, um, I keep seeing, um, I keep seeing like this, you know how uh, you guys the other day I was talking about like a rush of water and then I'm seeing like I just keep I just I don't know I don't know if it's like a rush of emotion but I just keep seeing this rush of water and I just every time I do the reading it, it keeps coming up for me uh, let me see what is this rush of water what is this rush of water okay ace of swords Hmm. And the fool. Oh, shit. Wow. You gotta be kidding. Now, I know in the background that can be mountains, but that does kind of feel like a, like um, the Great Wave. Do you remember that, that artist rendition? Uh, he was a Japanese artist from like the 1700s, I think. And he had this um, beautiful artwork. I can't remember his name, but um, he painted this this. He painted this canvas called The Great Wave. Um, and I'm also picking up like Ice Cap Mountains as well. The Great, the Great. So if you want to stay and listen to this, feel free. If you don't want to, like I said, you can click off. But I'm, I'm picking up something here to do with um, these uh, White Cap Mountains, Ice Cap Mountains. Why is this? Ace of Swords here. I don't understand. Why is this Ace of Swords here? Oh, okay. Okay. Um, there's something to do here with like water. Um, and debris flying through the air. There's water and debris flying through the air. Oh, I know where the Ace of Swords, I know why it's here. This is about truth. And they're saying, tell them the truth. It's like a horror movie, Tar horror tarot. Let me see. Women and children. Women and children first. Okay. They just told me women and children first. Teacher, they're saying school children, families. The water will recede. Um, the sun will come back out. There's a black cloud hanging over. <sighs> Doom and gloom. Welcome to House of Virgo. Get on high ground. Get on high ground, they're saying. Go, go this weekend. Go somewhere high up on high ground. Take only with you the things that you need. Take only with you the things that you need. <clears throat> Stay positive. Stay positive. Give me places. Show me places. Okay, they just keep saying this ice-capped mountain, or mountains, ice-capped mountains. 
I don't know if that's an area or that's a place that you're aware of or that you know of. Um, travel somewhere. They're saying go travel somewhere. There's so much here about travel. Um, there's something here about like make a decision. Yeah. Okay. Judgment. Mm. Wake up call. Huge wake up call. This event. Whew. There's going to be a lot of people. Um, a lot of people affected by this. In a very negative way. Save as many as you can, if you can. Tell as many people as you can, if you can. Okay, I'm getting something here with the Middle East as well. Um, somewhere near Egypt also. I know I did say the Ring of Fire that I kept getting, um, but I'm also picking up some something to do with near the Middle East, near the near Egypt. They're saying Arabian night. Arabian Nights. Oh shit. Okay, there's also volcanic a volcano um, eruption, a big one. This looks like Hawaii. There's an earthquake. Look, it's connected to there's some there's a volcano where there's an earthquake. Um, so it must be a volcano that's somewhere on a fault line, or near a fault line. There's cities. There's um, cities with um, orange buildings, almost like terracotta. It's a warm area. Or orange, I'm seeing orange, orangey buildings. And... Um, I wouldn't even know what to call this. I mean, obviously it's going to be your weekend reading, but Oh, okay. And they're saying they're giving me like um uh the time of day, um like around 3 p.m. There's also some area that where there's palm trees blowing um, really hard um, winds, heavy winds also. Palm trees and heavy winds. Um, palm trees like a like a like a tropical system or a hurricane system somewhere where there's palm trees. Okay, they're just also giving me, um, they're telling me there's something on in Japan as well. There's something going on in Japan. And, um... Receding water first. There's receding water that happens first. Look, it goes back. And then it'll come back in. There's receding water. And and where this water recedes, people aren't really going to be paying attention. Um, because it won't be... I don't know. They won't notice it. Which, I don't know how you couldn't notice it. It... it by the time it's noticed, it'll all, all the way, all, it will already be receded all the way back, is what I'm hearing. Prepare. Don't panic. Prepare. The sun. They just said, look at the sun. M very strong um, flares coming off the sun. This planetary activity 
um, has great effect. I'm not sure where the planets are. There's, they're in some type of very strange conjunction, and um, that's having having an effect on the Earth. And um, there's this solar flare activity that's really high, and it's it's a lot. There will be some disruption in telecommunication in certain areas as well. Yep, sun, moon, I'm telling you, there's something going on. I don't think the moon's going to explode. I don't think the sun's going to explode. It's nothing like that. It's just this planetary activity that is having an effect on the Earth, in, 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 you know, mostly in the circle of fire there, but there's also in other areas of the world. <clears throat> mm, the wheel. Yeah, there's going to be great change happening this week going forward. Yes, great change. Um, your pets, the animals. The animals are going to try to let people know. And I'm not speaking to you directly. Let me just make that clear. Uh, I'm speaking in general here, okay? Um, but the, the animals are going to let people know way ahead of time. Okay, one more, and I'm done with this doom and gloom. But you'll find a lover. <laughs> but you'll find love. <laughs> um, I can tell you this. This situation, this event, this big event that I'm predicting, and if it doesn't happen during this time frame, I mean, I'm definitely feeling the energy is very heavy that it's coming. Um, and people are going to start loving each other again. I'll tell you what. There isn't going to be any more discord like there has been. Um, people are going to get back to love and humanity. And um, the circle of life, the strength of humanity will come back around. Um, the energy of all of this is going to bring something out in people where they're going to be wanting to help others. Like humanity will become um, like humanitarian aid or humanitarian things will begin to take precedence other people's lives caring for each other helping each other loving each other you know um, that humanness because of some of these events I, I don't you know I don't feel like these are um, like the earth is not going to crack in half I don't feel like that's going on but they, th these events that are occurring um, uh, as a collective I do feel like are gonna have some kind of reset in people where they're really going to start appreciating each other and appreciating um, how valuable and precious life is, okay? So, you know, I probably should have made this a completely separate reading, but I don't think anybody would have listened to it if I did. So I did it at the end here. I did just want to warn you ahead of time, but I did it at the end here so that um, for those of you who really wanted to or had any interest in hearing about it, you um, can, you know, obviously stayed. And for those who clicked off, you know, I don't blame you. <laughs> you know, not everybody wants to know about doom and gloom kind of things, but I don't personally feel like it's it's not drama. It's not, not hyperbole. It's it's not doom and gloom. It's, you know, th this the intuition and the feelings that I'm getting, um, the vibration is, are really strong, and there's a lot of stuff that I feel like is going on. I mean, I don't even feel like it. I know it, and I can see it, you know, um, and so, yeah, take it with a grain of salt, Virgo. You know, hopefully uh, none of this comes to pass and I'm not as good as a tarot reader or psychic or intuitor as I think I am. Um, and that's always the ideal outcome is for none of this to happen. Um, but I also feel like I need to give this message. All right, you guys. So I'm going to go try and have a great weekend no matter what and keep my eye on things. So I hope you guys will be very safe of course, love each other, take care of each other, make good choices, have a great weekend. And uh, if none of this happens, at least, hey, you're finally going to get that love and commitment and, you know, that happily ever after that you wanted. So and if you don't want that, at least maybe you'll get like a new car. So I'll see you guys back here on Sunday for your live stream members only and uh, Sunday evening for your start of Sunday singles readings. All right, you guys take care. Bye.